two IFBB pros judging today. We've got Christy Thompson, Salah Ibrahim, and our team judge for today is Bronwyn Nichols, the NC IFBB president and IFBB pro judge. And myself, Chris, I'm also judging in doing all my shots. Um, and Mo Elmasoe, the president uh, and IFBB Pro League judge, will also be judging today. So we're going to get things started straight away with the junior men. We're going to get straight into it. And then we'll have a break after pre judging, and then we've got the evening show for the final starting at around 5. So thank you all for coming. Make a lot of noise for these guys. They put an enormous amount of effort into getting ready for this show. We always say Wellington is one of our favourite shows because you are one of the noisiest crowds that we see. There's always one. Start it off. Alright guys, so we're just sitting here backstage. I just came off. I was in the last class of the day. It was Men's Physique Open and I also did Men's Physique Novice. There were six people in my class in the novice um, and only two in the open so I was up against someone who could definitely become like an IFBB pro it was fucking ridiculous when I saw him and I knew that he was the only one up against me I just about gave up I'm telling you so uh, hopefully I can show you some footage or a picture or something but this is this is serious shit now so I'm just getting my shit together and then I'm gonna go off and have something to eat and then come back for the night show Alright guys, so before I head home, I may as well show you guys what exactly what I had to do. So, I need to stop lined up here, get my name called, come out here. Stand right here. And there's no one here now, but it's fucking different when it's full of people, I tell you that. And it's pouring down. And I've got no car. What am I going to do? Alright guys, it looks like it's stopped raining slightly. I asked someone in there and the last thing you want to do is get any water on your tan or else you're fucked. So, I'm choosing my moments wisely. But I'm trying to get out of the school so I can go back to my hotel room because tonight um, but man, you know what? Even though it's going to look ridiculous, I cannot wait to see that picture of me next to that guy in tall open class because he looked absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and I was completely out of my depth, bro. I could not, I, I just couldn't help but smile at him on stage because I knew that he knew and I knew <laughs> that he looked amazing. But, uh, Natty, half Natty, fake Natty, who cares, who gives a fuck, you all put in the effort. So right now I'm going to try and catch a cab quickly back home to the hotel because I talked to a couple of people around there but there's a few people staying around um, eating and stuff but I didn't actually bring enough food for me anyway so I've got to go back to the hotel, uh, get some food, chill out for a little bit and then I'll be back here at 5 o'clock for the night show. But uh, one thing I will tell you guys is that when I was when I was going out for that first time, my heart was in my fucking mouth. I was so nervous. I was shaking, like literally shaking. Um, yeah, it was insane. But I tell you what, that second one, after I'd done it once, right, easy, easy, easy. You just got to be. I mean, right. The more confident you are in your body and, ha and the work that you've done, the more confident you're going to be on stage. And that's probably why I wasn't so confident because at the end of the day, this isn't my peak. This is three weeks before. So yeah, but no, honestly, awesome, 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 awesome. The, um, the divisions before, like it's 2.30 now. I got there at like, well, I mean, I got there at 9, 9.30 this morning. That's five hours, but the show, the pre-judging actually started at 11 
and it took three hours to get to our um, men's physique which is the last division so it's going to be the exact same tonight even longer probably they said maybe 10 o'clock we'll be we'll be getting out of there and we're meant to be back there at five so i'm actually thinking i won't go back at five it's just starting to rain so i better fucking get inside somewhere all right no, you wouldn't believe it got to lift back with a cop hey, free taxi not complaining <laughs> Um, I think you felt sorry for me because I need I couldn't get my tan wet. But uh, I'll try and find my room key now. Yeah. So show day, halfway done. Right, I can now say I competed, motherfucker. Did it. I got up on stage, shaking like a leaf, but I did it. And I'm proud of myself. So, I still haven't drunk any water today. Um, what I'm gonna do now is have a coffee. I had no caffeine this morning. That is the first time I've had no caffeine in the morning in months. So I was watching the prejudging of the girls. I was just sitting there like, just waiting. I just wanted to pump up. And the pump up, I got, I got pretty good, man. I, I was pumping up for probably about half an hour. Some people only started pumping up probably five minutes before they went out. But um, the one thing I wanted to get pumped was my shoulders. Because I think that's probably the only thing that can maybe be able to stand up against these guys in the IFBB. Um, so I did that, got the triceps going, got everything going, and it's all in the judges' hands now. Um, I tried to smile. I um, <laughs> oh, it's crack up, man. You got to try it. You got to get up there, guys. It's it's really fun. So. I am going to chill out and I'll be back there at 5 o'clock to watch the night show. Alright guys, so just getting ready to head back down. Just watching a replay of the 2015 Men's Physique Olympia Finals. Getting some inspiration. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you the food that I'm going to take. So I'm going to try and aim for a high sodium meal, probably about an hour before I step on stage, um, to bring out some vascularity, I hope because I'm not feeling very vascular right now. So what I've got here is um, some little bacon pieces that I bought last night, mixed with some pulled pork, barbecue sauce, and a few um, rice crackers crushed up in there. So I only had this one container and I put it all in there so it's easy to take and I'll be munching on that um, probably about an hour before I get on stage. So no water still, just sips. Um, but yeah, that's about it can't do much else I think the results are already done anyway so but what I'm hoping man there's six in my class and top five get awards and there's only going to be one that doesn't get an award um, fingers crossed that's not me fingers crossed so we'll see how we go overall bikini winner for 2015 Wellington let's do it again Wellington who do you think should win this
the top. It's the one that I went up here. Watch this shit. Can I have you standing straight and then Okay, standing straight. I want you standing straight with your feet. Go. in the rain walking down lugging these 20 kilo weights down to my hotel um, I just thought I would reflect and have a little chat with you guys because you've come along this whole journey with me and it's not over but um, my suspicions were correct in that in uh, men's physique novice over 180 there were six competitors, one guy was out of condition, um, and I came fifth. So, yeah. Uh, and in the Men's Physique Open, which I thought that all of the frickin' novices would be doing, but they wouldn't, they weren't, and I was the only one. Um, I came second out of two, which I expected, because as you saw in the overall, um, that guy, man, insane. And I went up to him afterwards and I said, Bro, I just want to say one thing, 
you look amazing and good luck to Nationals. I'll be following you. And he's like, yeah, thanks, mate. Thanks, bro. You coming? You coming to Nationals, man? I was like, nah. Nah, mate. Oh, I came fifth, you know? Because actually, <laughs> top five is uh, is qualifications for Nationals. So I actually qualified in both, which is stupid because I ain't going. But from here, guys, the shred is is on, man. If I if I needed any more, you know, motivation, um, if I needed something to really hammer it in, then this show was it. And I need to work on my conditioning big time. So I can't wait to see the photos, the uh, comparison photos and the the, the stage shots because I paid to get the professional ones done. So you know, I hope they I hope they're all right. <laughs> thinking about it now you think what could you have done different what could you have done different but basically I mean it's conditioning man the, the, you know the guys in my class weren't that big oh sorry in the novice weren't that big um, they were just shredded so well done to them well done to them for dieting for so long um, it's it's if you think I'm shredded nah I, I ain't shredded um, there's definitely another level on top of that so that is the level that I am fucking gonna gun for now so yeah, that's it guys, if a taxi comes past I'm going to call it because fuck walking with these weights, but uh, that's it guys, NZIFBB, Wellington Champs, all done and dusted, great experience, uh, definitely, definitely glad I did it, it's got the monkey off my back, exactly like I said, um, knocked heads with a few people, uh, as in talk to them not had a fight rub shoulders with a few people that's what i mean so and yeah had a great time so onwards and upwards but uh once i get to my hotel room actually i haven't worked out for like three days so that is the first thing i'm gonna do is go and smash some weights so uh whew, yeah i'll keep walking and i'll see you guys later <laughs>